I ain't nobody's bitch, unless they paying. <laughs> oh, good lord, ain't that a fucking way to wake up, huh? Sun right in my face? Ah. I might be a, a little bit too pale for this. Spent too much time in Gamora, you know what I'm saying? Well, I suppose we should get on the road. Ah, I haven't seen any rangers out here yet. Chief Hanlon, up early in the morning. How you doing, buddy? Back west, you don't see too many of these. Lakes, I mean. Natural or man-made. Any kind, really. We neglected the dams or pumped all the water out a long time ago. Owens, Isabella, the San Luis. Drained the aquifers of everything they had. Just a lot of mud and dust now. It's a different feeling watching the sun come up over the water. It takes some getting used to. But if you're here long enough, it starts to seem normal. That's what a ranger's life is now, looking east. I don't think we've had the pleasure of meeting before. What can I do for you? What can you do for me? You can tell me what the fuck you're talking about with the water and all this stuff. Yeah, I never uh, know what the sky was thinking, but the earth, she don't hold too many secrets. I, I, don't, I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, you're apparently a ranger, something like that, but, uh, I, I don't see what that has to do with anything. Do you, do you stop talking at some point? Or, or you just, you're just waiting around for the next opportunity to ramble at me? I didn't realize you were in such a hurry. I get so used to sitting in this chair and listening to radio reports, sometimes I forget people are getting ready for war out there. Well, that's nice enough. It is a nice chair, I'll give you that. I spent the night in that chair, my back feels fucking good. You know, I, I used to have a bed in Gamora, and my back still never felt that good. It was probably, you know, all the people humping next door. You couldn't get any decent sleep. But it was relatively quiet out here. A couple of coyotes out in the distance, stuff like that. But I had a good uh, good old time. Uh, let me ask you something else. What, uh, what can you tell me about yourself? Besides, I like to sit in the chair and listen to the radio. Because everybody likes sitting in the chair, don't they? Listen to the radio, that's, that's part of the human experience, from my experience. Alright, so, what, who is Chief Hanlon, really? Folks around here call me the Chief, but Hanlon's just fine. The Rangers run themselves pretty well. But I try to lend a hand. Mostly administrative work, helping coordinate intel on the radio. That and keeping an eye on the fires growing across the water. Fascinating. Uh, the fires are from Caesar's Legion, I, I assume? Legion fires. They burn high wherever the Legion goes. Caesar's a hard man to figure out, but he always wants you to know when more troops are at your front door. Interesting. Shoot. Do you know anything else about Caesar? The best of the best. Worst of the worst. He came out of NCR, one of the followers of the apocalypse. Like a lot of the followers, he went out in the wilderness with a partner to try to help those who needed helping. Not much different from how the Rangers used to be, except with books and medicine instead of guns. And what happened after that? Out to the Grand Canyon. He met a missionary from Utah, a man by the name of Joshua Graham. Graham helped translate for the followers of the tribes. All three of them got nabbed by the Blackfoots down there, back when they were still at war with every other tribe in the Southwest. Interesting. So how did the follower wind up becoming uh, the Caesar that we know today? Hmm? Somewhere along the way he realized he needed to educate the Blackfoots or they were going to get wiped out with the rest of the tribe. Showed them how to use guns, how to make explosives. Once he taught the Blackfoots a thing or two, they needed him. And he no longer needed the followers, NCR, or anyone else. He decided he could remake the tribes of the Southwest whether they wanted it or not. He became Caesar, and Joshua Graham became his legate, his right hand. That's where Graham stayed until Hoover Dam. Fascinating. So the Blackfoots are part of the Legion now? Yes and no. The Blackfoots don't exist anymore. 
Just like any other tribe that gets swallowed by the Legion. Caesar takes the tribal out of the tribe. Scrapes and burns off tattoos, breaks up families, forces mixed breeding, so all the old loyalties die away. The only tribe in the Legion is the Legion. Caesar is the chief, father, and god, all rolled into one. Seems like an interesting man. But it's uh, pretty similar to what happened with New Vegas, you know. Old, uh, old Gamora used to be a, a tribe called the Slytherkin. I guess, I guess I'll talk about that a little bit later. Tell me, uh, for now, what happened to Graham after Hoover Dam? Losing the dam was the worst defeat the Legion ever suffered. Graham had been with Caesar since the beginning, but he had to set an example. Damn. The Praetorians covered Graham in pitch, lit him on fire, and down into the Grand Canyon he went. So I suppose that was the end of Mr. Graham, yes? It's not that clear cut. You have to understand, Graham was the toughest son of a gun anyone around these parts had ever seen. Before Hoover, we had five kill reports on Graham from Rangers and first recon sharpshooters who tried to take him out. Some folks think he's still alive. They call him the Burned Man. Interesting. Well, maybe, uh, maybe old Nick can meet up with him at some point. Let's, let me talk to you some, about something else. Do you know about the NCR? Uh, I mean, obviously you're pretty partial to them. You're, you're hanging out here with the Rangers, but uh, what can you tell me about them? It's no secret we've had better campaigns. Holding this whole length of river isn't easy. We're stretched thin and the long 15 just keeps getting longer. Slow to get supplies, slower to get reinforcements. NCR Senate has got funds tied up at the boneyard. President Kimball ordered our most experienced rangers to chase ghosts down in Baja. What's going on in Baja? It's complicated. It goes way back. I told President Kimball that we need more rangers here. He accepted that, but took the most experienced ones and sent them south. Patrol rangers are good men and women, but we're about to fight a war. Interesting. So... Do you know anything else about why funds are tied up in the boneyard? Senate elections are coming up. Local representatives don't want to push any more funding to the Mojave campaign because it's unpopular. Most of the folks around the boneyard haven't been to New Vegas and probably never will. That's All a shame. All they know is that their money gets sucked away to this desert and their brothers, sisters, sons, and daughters die here. Interesting. On to lighter news, how about? Um, could you tell me a little more about the Rangers? I could tell you a lot if you had the time. But at my age, I'm not sure which of us would get tired first. What do you want to know? You are just a fountain of information, old man. I really like this guy. You know, he starts out, he's he's a little weird. You're like, why the fuck are you talking about a lake? But if you ask him questions, he gives you straight answers. And I gotta respect that. So, uh, tell me a story, how about? That would be nice. I suppose it depends on what you think's good. Most folks want to hear about Hoover Dam and Boulder City, but it's a long story. If you want some tall tales about hunting down slavers or busting up gangs, talk to one of the younger rangers. What happened to Hoover Dam and Boulder City? I know about Hoover Dam, but Boulder City, that's a, a, new, a new town to me. In big battles, Caesar deploys his legionaries in waves. Recruits up front, prime soldiers behind the recruits, old guard bringing up the rear. Opponents wear themselves out dealing with the first two waves, if they survive that long. When the veterans step up, there's not much fight left. Caesar can adapt, though, and when required, he can run any mix of legionaries as skirmishers and still retain order in the ranks. Mm hmm Joshua Graham, Caesar's old legate, he wasn't so flexible. When the Legion attacked Hoover Dam, General Oliver ordered his troopers back to the middle ground just after first contact. Graham pushed all of the Legionaries onto the dam, filling the east side with recruits up front and veterans in the back, by the book. And then? But once they were in, they were stuck there. Oliver's troopers were entrenched and wouldn't give a foot. 
That's when we ordered the Rangers and the first recon sharpshooters to start picking off veteran Legion officers from a high ridge west of the dam. That only lasted about a minute before Graham ordered the back ranks to push through to the front and rush the ridge. How did that work out for him? Caused total chaos among the younger legionaries. Oliver's troopers fell back to the side walkways and stayed out of the veterans' way. By the time the veterans got to the ridge, we were already in Boulder City. They followed us down there, but we were out before they realized what was happening. Interesting. We had packed the old city with C4 and dynamite. Crude, but it did the job. Those who didn't die in the blast were in no position to mount a defense. The ones left on the dam didn't know what to do. The troopers routed them. Graham pulled the remaining legionaries back, but the battle was over. He went south, back to the Grand Canyon, back to Caesar. And that was the last we saw or heard from Joshua Graham. Well, that's uh, an interesting story. Seems like the NCR's got a, a good amount of tactics on their side, and they also got the guns. I've seen a few of these legionnaires showing up in uh, New Vegas, and, well, they're not there to do business with Gamora necessarily, but you could spy them once in a while. They ain't carrying guns or nothing, mostly just knives and such. Similar to old Nick. Anyways, I, I thank you for your time, Chief. I don't want to take up too much of your morning. You've been, uh quite gracious letting me borrow your chair and telling me all these stories and stuff. I'm gonna get out of your hair for now. See you later. Adios. Adios. He's a hip old man, I tell you that. I don't see no fires. Maybe that tower is what he's talking about. Hmm. Yeah, this seems to be what he's looking at. So it seems the Legion's camped out over there. I might like to go pay him a visit, something like that. I want to get both sides of the story, you know what I'm saying? It's not fair for me to just say, uh, oh, well, an old man told me about the battle that happened and this is how it went. Because there are two sides to every battle. Two sides to every story. I don't want to touch that water, though. That ain't going to be good news. I'm going to end up with an extra arm or something. Jesus. It might be a, a handy thing to have, you know? You could triple task, multitask, that sort of thing. And this water pipe. I'm sure it's carrying uh, water to some sort of farm. Might be nice to uh, stop by, get a little snack, something like that. I don't have too many stim packs on me, so uh, we gotta be careful while we're out here. And it's gonna be difficult. As we saw, mole rats coming out of the woodwork. Almost work old Nick over. That was just three of them. Three or four of them. I can't remember. Woke me up a little bit in my sleep last night, thinking about those little bastards. Disgusting hairless creatures coming at you with their sharp little pointy teeth. Biting deep into your legs. Ah. I hope we don't encounter any more. But, uh, I got a feeling that we're gonna be in for some worse things eventually. All I can do is keep my fingers crossed. Don't believe so much in, in God and the like, but... Ah, he seemed to pull me through that battle. At the very least. If I talk like that around Gamora, people laugh. It's not, a uh, Not so much punishment or anything like that. But my goodness, do they laugh. What's all this? Ah, uh, snack cakes? Don't mind if I do. Some potato crisps. Oh yeah, look at all this, huh? Somebody had a little camp out. Seemed to be long gone. But I don't mind if I help myself. Hey, this book is unreadable. Lucky that old Nick learned how to read. It's one of the things Joanna taught me, you know? She also taught me a few uh, trade skills and such. But I suppose she figured if I was ever out here on my own, I'd need to know how to read something. A few books and whatnot. And I took to it like a duck to water. Obviously. Traded some of my services for that bibble. You know, I think it was a, a preacher he stopped on in for some indiscretion. And to keep my mouth shut, he gave me a Bible, which I thought was pretty ironic. 
But, uh, it worked out. Worked out for everyone. Hey, what's this over here? A little more MCR. When you steal NCR equipment, tools, and personal property, you are his bitch. Yeah. I ain't nobody's bitch. Unless they pay him. <laughs> Earnings clipboard, finance clipboard. My goodness. You guys got a lot to worry about out here, huh? Not just fighting wars, but also pushing paper, right? How you doing, buddy? This post isn't someplace a civilian on a bee. Yeah, well, I'm here. What you want to fucking do about it? What is this place? Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. Ranger Lineholm. Is anything going on that I should know about? Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week. And they always end up floating down river with holes in their heads. Yeah, at least the ones you catch, eh? <laughs> I'm sure a few of them make it through. You only catch a couple a week. Uh, what do you what do you know about the Rangers? Tell me a little bit more about these NCR boys. I'm not really much of a historian. The short version is that the Rangers are the elite of the NCR military. Best fighters in the wasteland. Best fighters in the wasteland, yeah. I'm sure of it, right? That's why you haven't taken it over yet, huh? <laughs> I'm just busting your balls. Hey, take it easy. Enjoy that haircut. Get killed out there. Yeah, you don't get killed sitting in here. Might get a paper cut or something, huh? Uh, Castillo? Is that what he says? Hmm. A line home. That's the guy I'm looking for. Line home. But first, I just want to have a little look around here. See what I might be able to find, huh? Ah. Nikki needs some water. That's for sure. There's also some cigarettes. I like that a lot. Yeah, all these boxes are locked up tight. I don't really need mines or anything. I got my trusty cutting tools, and that's about all I need. Hey, Sleepy. Ah, who's the Sleepy? Huh? I suppose I should uh, look for line home. Hello there. I've got business here. Eh, uh, my business. Just passing through. Ain't that the truth? I was gonna go talk to the Legion. Maybe you'd like to make me an emissary. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. I think they're hoping for it. They came here to have a fight, didn't they? Something like that. Well, you guys got a radio tower. The Legion has a radio tower. Why don't you just kiss and make up, huh? Go fuck each other. <laughs> well, who's the sleepy in here, huh? Hey. Morning. Hey there. Morning. It's early, isn't it? Military outpost. Why are you here? Well, I wasn't exactly well guarded or anything, right? I just kind of fucking walked in. Uh, what do you do here? Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved on to the dam, this station has fallen into Mora's support role. Interesting. Uh, any other more interesting places around here? This place looks like a couple of fucking tents with a couple people jerking each other off, and that's about it, right? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly, it's mostly intact, even after all that time. The bomber? I ain't never heard that story. You ain't gonna tell me the story? You're just gonna open it up like that and be like, Yep, that's it. That's it. There's just a bomber in there. What else you want? So you're a ranger, are you? For about ten years now. Toughest training I've ever done. And was the proudest day of my life when I got my ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the Rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. Yeah, and the guns, you know. Legion ain't gonna do too much running around with fucking baseball bats running into assault rifle fire, right? Skill. Huh. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, nice to meet you. I'll, I'll see you around. So long. Let you get back to your fucking nap, huh? What time is it anyways? Look at this, 11 a.m., still napping. Oh yeah, we got a hard job to do over here. God. I don't know what to think about that lady. She got something to prove, obviously. Oh, look at me. I'm I'm in charge around here, right? Yeah. Sure looks like it, huh? <laughs> What's this down here? Don't look like uh, friendly people. Well, uh, maybe uh, old Nick can sneak up just a little bit. 
Hmm. Yeah, they're definitely not people. I don't know what I'm supposed to think of that. Let's stay away from them for now. I'm still uh, a bit squishy, you understand? I don't want to get myself in over my head here. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.